Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you five simple logo review effects in Filmora 11. Alright, so now I'm inside Filmora 11. Delete everything on the timeline. Okay, so first thing first, you need a logo. Okay, so for example, I have a logo here. And you know that I have just set up a new channel for my daughter. She's playing piano. So this is the logo. Let's try and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, and let's delete everything. I'm sorry, let's delete all the empty track first. So that you can see the logo better. And it has a zoom and pan effect. Now we can easily adjust it with the crop tools. Just click here at the crop. Okay, and select crop. And now we can adjust the crop area to make it bigger. Like this. And let's click OK. And now before trying to add animation or anything to the logo, let's resize it. Okay. Just select here at the preview window and resize it to very small and put it at the center. Okay, and the first logo reveal effect is the drop, which is very easy. All you need to do is to add a drop transition at the beginning and at the end of the logo. To do that, just go to transition and add the recommended folder. Just select the recommended folder here and then you want to search drop transition and press enter okay so here's the drop transition just drag and drop it at the beginning and at the end of the logo okay and now let's adjust the transition just double click at the transition here and adjust it to one second oh no just one second and zero and let's click this button apply to all okay and let's click OK. So this is a drop logo effect. OK. So for the next one, we is the zoom in and zoom out. We can duplicate the logo and just press Ctrl D. I'm sorry. I'm going to put the playhead at the end first and then press Ctrl D to duplicate the logo. And now let's delete this one okay so for the zoom in and zoom out effect we need to add keyframe select the logo on the timeline and then just select this option keyframe okay just click here and now select the preset at the top left corner and we have this option zoom in just double click to add keyframe to your logo okay so this is the first first look if you want to speed up the animation all you need to do is to shorten the keyframe here. Nice. And you want to add a fade out effect. All you need to do is to put the playhead near the end of the logo. And then you want to go to customize and add another keyframe. And then put the playhead at the end of the logo and scale it down to zero. Like this. Okay. And here's the fade out. Very nice, right? And the next logo review effect is the shake, and it is also very easy. Okay, let's duplicate this one and delete the keyframe here. Let's right click and select delete the key, clear all keyframe. Okay, for the shake, we need to add a special shake effect to the logo. So we can click OK, and now let's click effect. And now find the filter folder right here. Okay, and select the filter folder and then shake. And now you can select any shake effect right here, but we can select this one, the up and down. Just drag and drop it directly at the beginning of the logo. Okay, and also split the effect, delete the rest. And here's the shake effect for the logo. Okay, and for the disappear effect, we want to copy and paste the effect at the end of the logo. Okay, just copy, Control C and Control V to paste it at the end. Okay, that's nice, right? And for the glitch effect, we can 
add another glitch effect to the logo also so let's duplicate this one and then we want to search for glitch here at this folder so go to effect and then filter and then glitch okay and we have some option here by the way we can use this one which signal number one just right and drop it at the beginning of the logo and also split the effect at about three frame and delete this one and let's delete this one first and this is a glitch effect for the logo okay let's move it to here and play very nice right and we can put this at the end okay just copy this one and paste it at the end okay and finally we can create an open and closing effect for our logo also okay so we are going to copy this one and let's paste this right here and now it is very simple so here's the logo all we need to do is to use the opening and closing effect in Fimura 11 so just select the effect again and then find this one this folder opening and now there are some opening and closing effect you want to select one of them by the way i'm going to select this one the spot close and spot open okay just double click to download the effect first and then drag and drop it directly to our logo and also you can do the same with the closing effect just drag and drop it directly to the logo and now let's play the logo Alright, so that is 5 simple logo review effect in Fimura 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!